In today's Madden 18 video, we're going to be taking a look at the top three tips to keep your composure in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if those of you don't know who I am, uh, my channel is devoted to trying to help you uh, become the best player that you can be possible, and I do that through different tips, strategies, and books and guides. So hopefully you'll find something in today's video that can help you improve in Madden 18. All right, so the first tip to keeping your composure in Madden 18 is to focus on your job. And so one of the things that I think a lot of people don't do that they probably should is they don't predetermine their play calling, their setups, their um, their job. So how do you do a job if you don't know what the job is? So you got to clearly define your role. And um, this is something that took me a long time to learn. I've actually just learned it this season um, because my tendency is to, like most people, I'll just kind of run around and and do whatever I think needs to be done. The problem with that is that, event is that eventually you will forget something and you will not accomplish your job and it, it just really won't go well for you. So one of the keys to you know having better composure, at least in my opinion, is to clearly define your job before you step into a game. And then once you step into the game, continually stay focused on your mission, your job. Your job is the only thing that you can uh, really control, which leads into our second tip, and that is control what you can. Um, I cannot control, um, you know, I can't control everything in a game of Madden. I can't control what my opponent calls. I can't control what he does. I, I can't. I can't control those things. Those things are are incidences that, that is up to him. Okay, I can't control when the game, you know, lurks me off of my guy and then he dots me up on fourth and three. I can't control things like that. That's something that's really, really hard for a lot of people to uh, grasp, but you, you just can't. You have to worry about what you can control. What is your job? What can you control? And a lot of it is mental readjustment and focus allotment. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to retrain your mind to, instead of focusing on all of the problems that go on in the game, instead of focusing on all the negative um, just simply focus on your job. Focus, and this is something that Bill Belichick talks a lot about in the New England Patriots. You know, this is something that they do, which is, you know, just really effective, is they focus on their job. They focus on what they can control. Because I can't, another thing that's interesting that you guys probably don't think about is I can't control my computer players. So I can only control one player every snap. That's it. That's all I get is one player. And so in that one player, I've got to control the, the minimum, what is the most critical things to my defense being successful? Like, what what is it? And if I can control that with my user player, that puts me in control of the defense. So to me, the most important thing that I can stop is post routes and deep, deep corner routes. Because those are the two things that are going to lead to, to touchdowns. So I use the middle linebacker, and if I see a post route, I'm immediately jumping all over it. Okay, so what I'm trying to get at here, guys, is you have to focus on what you can control and you have to stay disciplined to that. So, for example, as a quarterback, let's go to the offensive side of the ball here now. Um, one thing I can control is is I can control the, um, the, the basic reads, the pre-snap menu. So I can control what I take in. So, for example, if he comes out in a three-down lineman, here he's, it looks like he's in some type of 3-4 defense. Um, I can control at least taking the time to read that defense. Most people, when they get in a hurry, they get upset, they get frustrated, and they start losing their composure, you don't see those people um, do the little things well. Okay, they, they, they start ignoring the little things that are important to their success. So one of the little things that's really important to your success is, is especially on offense, is reading the defense. So here he's off coverage. It's the same basic look. Now he comes to press up. His corners are facing those guys. Now he backs them off. Those are things that you have to have to at least look at so you can see some tendencies, okay? Because tendencies are uh, critical because the past oftentimes will tell you the future. So if you know the past well, you can pretty much determine and predetermine what you're going to do. But again, it goes back to predefining what is your job and doing it every single time. The quarterback's job, which is your position on offense, the quarterback's job is to read the defense, to try to dissect it, to try to basically figure out what it's doing, and then to make the proper adjustment and, and, and make the proper play. Okay, that's the quarterback's job. It's to read the defense pre-snap, 
and it's to read the defense post-snap. Okay, those are critical elements. You can't control if the receiver, like right there, that's a frustrating thing. Like I, you know, I give, I get a, a dot by all purposes. He, he tricks me. I read the cover two and I throw a dot and Deshaun Jackson drops the ball. I can't control that. I can't. All I can do, and this is something that coaching, and, and especially in coaching, you have to realize you can't control what your players do. It's the same thing in Madden. You cannot control. I can't control Deshaun Jackson. All I can do is um, control Tom Brady, who's going to get the ball to, Tom, to to Deshaun Jackson, put him in a position to make a play. Okay, so those are critical things. Um, those are the critical things. But before I get to the last one, I just want to encourage those of you guys that this is your first time watching any of my content to hit the subscribe button. The subs subscribe button acts, costs absolutely nothing for you to hit it. And uh, it really can help you get better because you're going to get access to all of my content um, that I'm going to be producing for the season. So just want to encourage you to check that out um, as I throw a really ugly interception there. The last uh, tip that I have for you, and it's probably good that I threw the interception there, is you have to have a short-term memory. You do. You have to. Like, that's a pretty frustrating interception, right? Because to Kelvin Benjamin, normally I'll complete that. Um, normally that'll be a dot right over the middle of the field. I felt like I read the defense right, made the right throw. Um, maybe my timing was a little bit late, but or a little bit early, but normally that's going to be a dot. And I end up throwing an interception. What do I have to do? I have to come back, and I have to focus on what I can control. It's the next play, okay? Um, one of the things that I often will say is, especially in football, every second, every play, every next play is the most important play. So this play, this moment, this – this is the critical thing that you can control. This is this is the thing that, and as you can see here, we turn around, we get an interception. Um, you just continually, consistently do your job and focus on what you can control. And I'm telling you right now, if you do these three things, if you if you uh, do focus on your job and clearly define your job, if you control what you can control, and if you have a short-term memory, you're going to be successful in this in this game. Especially if you put the practice in, you get the plays. Most of us have the plays. Most of us have the basics that we need to be successful. What most people don't do is they don't do these three things. They don't define their job pre pre um, pre before it even takes place. They they don't control what they can. They don't um, have a short term memory, and they get emotional and they and they end up losing oftentimes. So if you really, really, really want to take your game to the next level, I would suggest focusing on the mental side of things as opposed to just the practical side of things. The practical side of things may get you into the tournament. The mental side of things are going to win you the tournament. Okay, the mental side of things are what's going to win you the tournament. Okay, every game is not black and white 35 to 0 because you have a better scheme, especially when you play good players. They're going to be able to stay in the game even if their scheme is terrible. Okay. And it's critical for you as a player to really uh, realize what does it take to be successful. And I believe that these three things uh, will help you significantly. So thanks for watching today's video. And again, I want to just remind um, those of you that haven't already, please subscribe.